Here we are in another video. Let's talk about meeting kids where they're at. Through our society, there are so many certain labels or ideas that kids should be at a specific level. If they're at a certain grade, they should know a certain amount of things. If they're a certain age, they should be able to do a certain amount of things. And I don't mind that as just a starting point, but if we assume that that is where the kids are all should be at, we're going to leave a lot behind. What I'm talking about here is an understanding of personal boundaries, understanding the boundaries of the kids that we're working with. Because if we present them with something that is far beyond their boundary level, they're going to just shut it off. That's where we start getting behavior. That's where we get frustrated is because it is too far ahead of where they are that they push it away and sometimes in aggressive and frustrating fashions for adults. So I think it's really important to make sure that we are dialing things back. Start easy. Easier than you could possibly imagine because that creates confidence. They start building off things and they go, hey, this is easy, this is easy. If I'm putting work in front of somebody that's easy, they're probably a lot more likely to do it. And then over time, gradually increasing the difficulty. You know, it's funny, kids love video games and this is something that video games does tremendously well. The first level you accumulate some basic skills and it's usually not very hard. But over time, things get harder and harder and they add skills or add weapons or add things that make the game more challenging but they make sure to start off at the simplest point possible. That's why games are addictive because we've accumulated all this skill that we enjoy the challenge of something slightly harder. But if they just started off at the hardest level, no one would play the game because it's too hard. So a common mistake I see so many teachers making is not meeting kids where they're at. Assuming that, oh, this child's in grade five, they should be able to do this. Don't count on it. Start easy, build to harder, and I guarantee you, you're going to find a lot more success. For parents, same as well. Start your kids off on simple, easy tasks where they can gain their confidence before you start giving them a major list of chores to do. Make sure that they feel confident and comfortable by starting light and easy. Meet kids where they're at. I guarantee you, you're gonna find a lot more success with it. My name is PJ from the Awareness Module. Thanks again for watching. Play, learn, connect.